Hey everybody, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland and we're at a place, well, the kind of RV park we've never been before. I can honestly say we have never been to this type of park before, but we are having so much fun. And we'll show you what Yogi Bear's Jellystone Park is like. Stay tuned. We'll say this, Jellystone Park is sure friendly. But the real reason we're here is to meet these people. Hey, our son Jeff, wife Amy, and grandchildren Jovi 3 and Jack's 8 months. They just became RVers, buying a travel trailer. And Jellystone Park is where they picked for their first camp out. So we invited ourselves along. Welcome to our new home on wheels. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Oh, wow. You've got so much space, I love it. This is great. Very nice. Where's your bedroom, Jovi? Oh, right there. Right there? Yeah, this is our new 2018 Keystone Springdale Special Edition. It's 27 feet long, 31 feet bumper to hitch, and it's got a bunkhouse for the kids, queen size bedroom up front, uh, two recliner seats in front of the television. It's got uh, everything we need for a family. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty huge, especially being in a Class B, it feels like a mansion. <laughs> so, okay, so what was it like, this is your first trip, what was it like backing it? You didn't have to back it in, right? I didn't have to back it in yet, no. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, that's going to take a little bit of practice, and I know that the first time we do it, it's going to be Memorial Weekend, and it's going to be at a really crowded campground, and there's going to be a lot of guys with beers in their hands watching you do it for the first time, so I hope I get it right. We parked our Class B Road Trek CS Adventurous right next to Jeff and Amy and the kids. We got lots of good family time, as you always do when you're camping. We ate our first meal inside Jeff and Amy's new trailer and then went exploring Jellystone Park. Jovi had a ball, joining gobs of other kids on the big jumping pillow. There were lots of kids' activities, bikes and pedal cars, a game arcade, and activities galore. Since the park just opened for the season, the pool was not yet ready, but the playground was, and Jovi was all over it. There's also a cafe with lots of treats. The night we were there, it was strawberry shortcake. But the <laughs> highlight was this. Everybody wave at Cindy Bear! <laughs> The nightly wagon ride. This one had Cindy Bear as the guest of honor. Okay, that's Cindy Bear, but where's Yogi Bear? He's still sleeping. He's in he didn't want to wake up yet. Oh, oh, he's <laughs> what about Boo Boo? Boo Boo is keeping Yogi company. Well, now come Cindy's up so early. Because the kids wanted to see Cindy. <laughs> Every night, there's a wagon ride for the kids, featuring Yogi or one of his pals like Cindy. They also do a nightly tuck-in, delivering hot cookies before bedtime for sleepy little campers. Jellystone Park is even friendly towards dogs. There are hitching posts to keep your pet secure while you are visiting the various attractions. And something Bo really appreciated a fenced-in, off-leash play area. Hold it, don't, don't unhook him yet. Back at our campsites, we got a chance to learn a little bit more from Jeff and Amy about their new trailer and what the RV lifestyle means to them. So what caused you to pick this trailer? What do you like about this trailer? We wanted something that was big enough for the family, that had bunks, and and two recliner chairs. And two recliners. That was it. A lot of the units we saw just had the dinette, but we wanted the couch too for the extra space. And tell me what features this trailer has that you like about it. I like the oversized fridge and the big sink with the pull down faucet. That little shelf, the bench seat where you can put your shoes underneath there and the hooks for the coats is really nice. Good size gas stove. Uh, the bunks are big enough that the kids can grow into them. It's a good sized bathroom with a little tub for the kids and a stand up shower that's big enough for us. Well at this 
stage of our life, what we like about it is the family time. It's great to get away and unplug from devices and not have cartoons on all day. And household chores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, and just to spend time with the family and watch the kids being kids. This is our first summer with our own RV, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but there's nothing like sitting around a campfire with the family, telling stories, telling jokes, and uh, creating memories. Cooking together and eating together is is an experience like no other. It's it's priceless. So. But after breakfast the next morning, the shakedown voyage of Jeff and Amy's new trailer came to an end. As they pulled out and we waved our goodbyes. We knew it wouldn't be long before, sometime soon, we would once again be gathered around a campfire enjoying the RV lifestyle. And as for Jellystone Park, we had a ball. So there you go. The weather is uh, still quite Chilly. cool. It's quite cold. I was surprised how many people are actually out here camping. They just opened this last week. And it's almost full. I think there's just about two it, spots that are empty. It's almost full. Our, in fact, they were going to, our son Jeff and Amy were going to rent at a, uh, get a state place park. at a state park. And it and was it full. And it was full. And it is, it is cold. It's, it's going to get down to what, 30 In the, in the 30s. Tonight? But it just shows you how pent up the desire is for people in the Midwest and the northern states to get out and enjoy the weather again. And uh, they're all doing that. And uh, spring is coming. And let's get back to the campfire. Thank you so much for watching this. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Please, before you go, subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Bye-bye.